cheese. It adds flavor, melty texture, and tang to everything it touches. In some diets, cheese doesn't jive because of its nutritional qualities. But what about the keto diet? Is cheese keto? In this video we will talk about the benefits of doing cheese on keto, and the best and the worst type of cheese that you can have on keto. On your keto journey you must remember that there are some variety of cheeses to eat, and some to skip altogether. We make videos on topics such as keto, weight loss and nutrition, so if you want to learn more about how you can be healthier and fitter, then like this video and subscribe to our channel. If you are looking for a customized keto diet plan, with the option to swap your meals in case you don't like them, then click the link in the description below. Yes, you can have cheese on keto, thanks to its high fat content and low carbs. Cheese is basically the perfect keto food, high fat, moderate protein, and low carb and it can add flavor, variety, and new textures into your meals. The best varieties for the keto-friendly cheese are high quality, grass-fed, and full fat. Now, let's talk about exactly how much cheese you can have on keto. You can certainly eat keto-friendly cheese, but it's not a carb-free food. You'll need to pay close attention to serving sizes, since the small amount of carbs in cheese can add up fast. The way you buy low-carb cheese can also determine its nutritional value. Pre-shredded cheeses, for example, sometimes contain added starches to prevent sticking that will add more carbs to each serving. For the best keto diet cheese experience, buy whole blocks and slice or shred them yourself. All cheese can be keto. However, keep fat content in mind when you look for low-carb cheese. Low-fat, non-fat, and full-fat cheeses are all considered low-carb, but lower-fat varieties will generally yield higher carb counts. So, always choose full-fat cheeses whenever possible, and steer clear of any with added starch or sweeteners. In particular, very soft cheeses, such as ricotta cheese, will have a most noticeably higher carb count in low-fat varieties. Sometimes low-fat versions even have sugar added, so always check labels. Here are the 7 best types of cheese to eat on the keto diet. Number 1. Halloumi. Halloumi is also known as the grilling cheese. It's pretty hard and it doesn't melt as easily as softer cheeses like mozzarella and brie. That means you can use it a lot like meat in a culinary sense, to add some variety to the summer menu. You can use it in grilled skewers, along with meat and low-carb vegetables. Number 2. Feta Cheese. Feta is made of goat's milk, which can make it easier on the stomach even for people who have trouble with cow's milk cheese. Also, there are very few grams of carbs in goat cheese, making it a great way to hit your macros. Number 3. Brie Cheese. Brie is a soft, creamy, buttery cheese that originated in France and is produced internationally. It has a creamy interior with a soft, bloomy, edible rind of white mold. The cheese is high in fat and rich in calcium with relatively high sodium content. It's also a good source of protein and vitamins A and B6. As part of your keto diet, you can eat brie with slices of hard sausage as a snack or appetizer, or melt it over a frittata or other baked egg dish. If you're not doing keto, you could also eat brie with apple slices, or with gluten-free paleo crackers. Number 4. Gruyere Cheese. Gruyere is a smooth melting type of Swiss cheese that's made from whole cow's milk, and generally cured for six months or longer. Gruyere is a great table cheese, a term that refers to any cheese that can be eaten in slices, like on a sandwich or as part of a cheese platter. It also happens to be an excellent melting cheese, which is why Gruyere is one of the two main cheeses used in preparing the traditional fondue recipe. Number 5. Cream Cheese. This is a keto favorite, mainly because the only thing it adds is fat. 
One tablespoon has 0.8 grams of carbs, less than 1 gram of protein, but 5 grams of fat. That means it's a great addition to a meal or snack when you need more fat. Cream cheese has an almost sweet flavor to it, which makes it ideal for low-carb, high-fat desserts. Number 6. Parmesan cheese. Parmesan cheese is a hard, dry cheese made from skimmed or partially skimmed cow's milk. It has a hard pale golden rind and a straw-colored interior with a rich, sharp flavor. Grated Parmesan is perfect for adding a hit of salty, nutty flavor to foods. One tablespoon of grated Parmesan has 26 calories and has 0.9 grams of carbs, 1.8 grams of protein, and 1.7 grams of fat. Number 7. Paneer. Paneer is an Indian cheese that's made from curdled milk and some sort of fruit or vegetable acid like lemon juice. It's an unaged soft cheese that doesn't melt so you can use it in curry, and all kinds of other delicious Indian or Southeast Asian dishes or you can even fry it and serve on top of curry vegetables. Roughly a 1-inch cube has 1 gram of carbs, along with 6 grams of protein and 7 grams of fat. Now let's talk about the 4 worst cheeses for people on the keto diet. Number 1. Canned or Spray Cheese. Per ounce of spray cheese contains 2 grams of carbs, 5 grams of protein, 6 grams of fat for 81 calories which could probably fit into your diet just fine. But, it also contains a lot of stabilizers, fillers, and oils that don't provide much nutritional benefit. All you're doing is adding additional junk that your body doesn't recognize, and that can lead to inflammation. Number 2. American Cheese. Just like canned or spray cheese, American cheese is often highly processed, and we highly recommend dieters to pay attention to the quality of their food and not just whether it meets their macro goals. As for those macros, a slice of American cheese has 65 calories, 2 grams of carbs, 4 grams of protein, and 5 grams of fat. Because many people on keto stick to 20 grams of carbs per day, one slice may account for 10% of your total carb allotment. Number 3. Yellow Cheddar Cheese. If you are serious about weight loss and keto then it's important that you choose the highest quality foods, including cheese. For that reason, we suggest skipping varieties that are made with dyes or colors, like many cheddars. Yellow cheddars have an addo added for color. To get around this, you can rather opt for white cheddar. A slice of cheddar contains 85 calories, 0.6 grams of carbs, 5 grams of protein, and 7 grams of fat. Also worth mentioning is that many cheddars are mild tasting, and you may want more than one slice to feel satisfied. Number 4. Ricotta Cheese. In small quantities, full-fat ricotta may be fine in your diet. But you have to be careful with its portion size. Ricotta is higher in carbs, while it can be a good option once in a while, you have to watch portions as a half cup serving of ricotta will contain 192 calories for a whopping 5 grams of carbs, 14 grams of protein, and 13 grams of fat. As a general rule, go for full fat versions of cheeses where possible, and watch out for packaged shredded cheeses as some of them have anti-caking agents that add carbs to the total. If in doubt, it's safer to shred your cheese yourself at home. Thanks for watching. If you found this video useful, then comment, like and subscribe as we regularly upload videos on keto and weight loss.